Brace yourself. It's one of those days. Some days you wake up knowing. Doom lurks just around the corner. A sense of impending chaos fills the air and you can almost hear the universe chuckling. These are not days for grand plans or winning lottery tickets. Forget about achieving anything monumental. No, these are days for small victories, tiny, almost insignificant wins. Like putting on pants without ripping them. Yes, even that can feel like a triumph. Or successfully navigating to the bathroom without tripping over the dog. It's the little things. Anything beyond that is gravy, my friend. Watery, flavorless gravy that you just have to accept. You know those mornings when the universe seems determined to test your sanity? When everything feels off? Yeah, this is one of those. The stars are misaligned and the planets are in disarray. The kind where gravity feels a bit stronger, as if the world is conspiring against you. Where your left sock is perpetually MIA, you get the picture. So buckle up, Buttercup, because we're about to embark on a hilarious journey through a day that's destined for disaster. A day where everything that can go wrong will go wrong. Just remember, you're not alone. We've all been there. We've all faced these days. And if we haven't, well, we're probably just having a really good day. For now. So, hang in there and maybe tomorrow will be better. It starts innocently enough, you stumble into the kitchen, bleary-eyed and yearning for caffeine, but the coffee gods, it seems, are not on your side today. The coffee pot sputters and dies. Your favorite mug takes a swan dive off the counter, and don't even get me started on the milk, let's just say it's seen better days. You manage to salvage a lukewarm, watery concoction and take a cautious sip. Congratulations, you've just scalded your tongue. The day is off to a roaring start. You finally make it out the door, only to be greeted by torrential downpours, the kind that makes you question why you even bothered to leave the house in the first place. As you sprint towards the bus stop, a rogue flock of pigeons decides to make your life even more complicated, or perhaps a rogue pigeon caught in a torrential downpour, flapping its wings desperately as if mocking your own struggle. Whatever the obstacle, it's messy, it's inconvenient, and it's definitely testing your patience. You feel like you're navigating through a chaotic obstacle course designed by the universe to test your resolve. You finally arrive at the bus stop soaking wet and thoroughly disheveled, just in time to watch your bus pull away. The sight of it disappearing around the corner feels like a cruel joke. Of course, it's the last one for an hour, naturally. You stand there dripping and defeated, contemplating the long wait ahead. Just as you're about to give up and hail a taxi, which, let's be honest, you can't afford, you realize you've left your wallet at home, on the kitchen counter. The realization hits you like a ton of bricks, right next to the expired milk. The same milk you meant to throw out this morning but forgot in your rush to leave. It's a day that just keeps on giving. Section 4. Work Woes and Technological Terrors You finally arrive at work already feeling like you've run a marathon, through a jungle while being chased by rabid squirrels. And it's only 9 a.m. The day just gets better from there. Your computer crashes. Your inbox explodes with urgent requests. Your boss decides to have a quick chat about your performance. And then just when you think things can't possibly get any worse, your phone rings, it's your neighbor. Seems your dog, the one you tripped over this morning, has decided to express his displeasure by redecorating your living room with your favorite throw pillows. Section five. Culinary catastrophes and domestic disasters. Defeated, you decide to salvage what's left of your day by treating yourself to a nice home-cooked meal. You gather your ingredients, put on your favorite apron, and set out with the best of intentions. What could possibly go wrong? Everything. You overcook the pasta, turning it into a mushy, unappetizing mess. You burn the garlic bread, transforming it into a charred, inedible brick. The smoke alarm goes off summoning the fire department and a hefty fine. Your kitchen now resembles a war zone with smoke billowing and chaos reigning supreme. And to top it all off, you discover that your beloved houseplant, the one you've been nurturing for months, has mysteriously wilted and died. It's as if the universe is conspiring against you, just like your hopes and dreams. The plant, once a symbol of your green thumb and domestic success, now lies lifeless, mirroring your culinary failures. Exhausted and defeated, you decide to just order pizza. You think, how could this go wrong? But of course, the pizza guy gets lost, the delivery takes two hours, and the pizza arrives cold, soggy, and topped with pineapple. The one topping you absolutely despise, because the universe hates you. It's as if every small disaster has conspired to ruin your day. 
leaving you with nothing but a cold, soggy reminder of your culinary catastrophes. Section 6. Embrace the chaos and order a pizza. 